the Lord hath made, and we will rejoice and be glad in it. We welcome you to the worship of the Franchise Missionary Baptist Church, where we're located at 1000 Dillingham Street here in the city of Phoenix City, Alabama, where our pastor is Dr. Raymond Cochran. We are thankful and blessed that those of you who decided to join us with in-person worship and those who are joining us virtually, we are thankful and blessed that you chose to worship God on this, the Lord's Day. If you would join us in our call to worship, that reads, let everything that hath breath praise the Lord, praise ye the Lord. Psalm number 150, verse number 6, King James Version. The affirmation of faith of the Franchise Missionary Baptist Church reads as follows. We believe in the inspiration of the Bible, both Old and New Testaments, the creation of man by the direct act of God, the incarnation and virgin birth of Christ, his vicarious atonement for the sins of mankind by shedding of his blood on the cross, the resurrection of his body from the tomb on the third day, and because of this we observe Sunday as the Lord's day. And we partake, remember by partaking of the Lord's Supper. We believe in one Lord, one faith, one baptism, and in the authoritative command of baptism by immersion. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Ghost. We believe he ascended into heaven, sat on the right hand of God. He has power to save man from sin, the new birth through the regeneration by the Holy Spirit, the gift of eternal life by the grace of God, and he will come again soon. We believe that there will be a resurrection of the just and the unjust, the just having been redeemed by the blood of the Lord Jesus Christ to be with him throughout eternity in glory, the unjust to eternal condemnation in hell. These things we believe. Amen. Join us in our morning hymn, Because He Lives. I can face tomorrow because he lives, all fear is gone. Because I know he holds the future, now life is worth the living just because he lives. Let's all sing with uplifted voices on this morning. God sent his son. They called him Jesus, he came to love, heal and forgive, he bled and died to my
That's Mark chapter 11, beginning at verse 22. And it reads, And Jesus answering saith unto them, Have faith in God. For verily I say unto you, that whosoever shall say unto this mountain, Be thou removed, and be thou cast into the sea, and shall not doubt in his heart, but shall believe that those things which he saith shall come to pass, he shall have whatsoever he saith. Therefore I say unto you, what things soever ye desire, when ye pray, believe that ye receive them, and ye shall have them. And, and when ye stand praying, forgive, if ye forgive aught against anyone. And your Father also which is in heaven may forgive you your trespasses. But if ye do not forgive, neither will your Father, which is in heaven, forgive your trespasses. I read to you Mark chapter 11, verses 22 through 26. The word of God for the people of God. Shall we pray? Our Father, we chart in heaven. Midweek worship is each Wednesday at 12 noon. Scholarship applications can be picked up to be turned in on May 9, 2021. All graduates are asked to register with your name and telephone number by email at franchisemission at AOL.com. 
save and change lives. We are asking you to participate in the Baby Bottle Boomerang for Sound Choices Pregnancy Clinic from Mother's Day until Father's Day by saving your change after breaking a dollar. If you would like a baby bottle, please contact Sister Hetty Wyatt by April 30th, 2021. We will resume worship if it is the will of God in the sanctuary, May 9th, 2021. We will have Sunday school at 9 o'clock a.m. and worship at 9.45 a.m. with caution, still using masks and social distance. We will have a gift for the first 100 people. Isaiah Hughley, committee chair, Dr. Raymond Cochran, pastor. Thank you.
say is, Father. slip in here. Nobody bothered us. And we talked to the Lord. And whether you know it or not, the world is suffering for doubt. For prayer. That's the only help you have. You can't turn to the government. You can't turn to anything of that kind. You can't turn to the police. But you can always turn to Jesus. And I have a preacher here, one of our own, who that prayer me. And any time a preacher pray, I want to hear him preach. I told y'all I was going to say that. I said it in prayer me. Whatever I say one place, I said another. This is the only preacher. But Chris, go to work at five. Those who I know may be working, but others didn't come. And I need to say something here. You can't talk to Father Lord till you talk to him. Y'all hear me? You, you can't talk for, you can't be no ambassador. Letting you know 
what you're talking about. And Pastor Magruder was here and prayed during the week, and it touched me. So I thought maybe since we are starting now of a virtual revival on tomorrow night, that he would come to us and bring the message. Uh, one of our own, we love him very much. He was reared here in Phoenix, went to school with my children and uh, while God took my son John away from me, he gave other sons. So you have to take what God left. That reason I said, I'm happy with Jesus. My son John passed away some years ago of cancer. So uh, what you're going to do, I'm going to take what God left. There's always something. God don't never run out of resources. So I claim Reverend H.C. Magruder as my son. He is one of us. I buried one of my son the other day. And, but here he is. James Hicks, Brother Clark taught him, came up in this church and the funeral let me tell you this, and I'm gone. Feel taking the toll on me. Yet I'm trusted in God. And that's because I know everybody I'm buried. It's not like I got here yesterday. I know the people. I know their parents. I knew their parents. And it does something to me, but I'm not going to let anything turn me around. Yeah, keep praying. Let's raise our hand and receive Reverend H.C. McGruder. Give him a hand. Let it go. Come on here, please. Thank you, Dr. Cochran. Father God, we ask that the words of our mouth and the meditation of our heart be acceptable and pleasing in thy sight and unto thy ears. Speak to us and through us that your people will receive a message from on high. Lord God, we say thank you in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Giving all praises to God and honor to Pastor Cochran, Dad Cochran, we affectionately call him, thanking him for the opportunity to share with you this morning from God's Holy Writ. Looking in 2 Kings, 2 Kings chapter 6, 2 Kings chapter 6, we find these words in Verse 15. And when the servant of the man of God was risen early and gone forth, behold, an host come past the city, both with horses and chariots. And his servant said unto him, Alas, my master, how shall we do? You may be seated. This morning, God has laid upon my heart to share with you, it's not what it looks like. It's not what it looks like. Man in his own physical being, sees hopelessness in these times because of the coronavirus and the pandemic, the social injustices, systemic racism, police brutalities, social distancing and economic depression. It looks hopeless. It looks hopeless. 
but it's not what it looks like. Instead of basking in gloom and doom, we ought to bask in the glory and the blessings of the Lord. We, we, we're still able to move around and we're still able to talk. We're still able to have our being. We're still being fed by God because uh, David said, I've been young, but now I'm old. But never have I seen the righteous forsaken nor his seed begging for bread. It's not what it looks like. The Bible reminds us in God's word. The Bible reminds us in Galatians 6 and 7, be not deceived. God is not marked for whatsoever a man soweth, that shall he also reap. You cannot plant plums and expect peaches. Oh, we got to show love in spite of because God is love. It's not what it looks like. Let us look at the spiritual side of this message coming from the word of God. David had hope when facing the giant Goliath. The Hebrew boys had hope when facing the fiery furnace. Joshua had hope when facing the walls of Jericho. Daniel had hope when facing the lions in the lion's den. Elijah had hope when facing the prophets of Baal out on Mount Carmel. Moses had hope when facing Pharaoh and standing at the Red Sea. Ezekiel had hope when facing the dry bones in the valley. And Brother Deacon God asked Pastor Ezekiel, can these bones live? And Ezekiel didn't answer yes because he had never witnessed such a miracle in his lifetime. He didn't say no because he wouldn't dare doubt God. So he said, Lord, thou knowest. It's not what it looks like. We have to be still and stay in the will of God. Now, if you look at the word still, and you remove the S and the T from still, you have ill. The Lord told me to tell you that if you are not still trusting him, you are ill. If you're not still part of the body of Christ, you are ill. If you're not still tithing and giving, you are ill. If you're not still loving God's creation, you are ill. If you're not still forgiving and loving one another, you are ill. But it's not what it looks like. For 2 Chronicles 7 and 14 tells us, If my people, which are called by my name, shall humble themselves and pray and seek my face, saith the Lord, and turn from their wicked ways, then will I hear from heaven and will forgive the sin, their sin and will hear their sin. Now if you look at the word will, if you take W from will, you got ill again. If we are not still in the will of God, we are ill. We are spiritually sick, but there's hope. The Lord said, all we have to do is cry out to him. Cry, Abba, Father, forgive me of whatever I've done that I should not have done. Forgive me of whatever thoughts that I've thought that I should not have thought. Lord, I know you're a forgiving God. It's not what it looks like. When you do it God's way, standing on his word, pastor, franchise, missionary Baptist church, you will catch hell. But the blessed assurance is knowing that you won't go to hell. When you do it God's way, when you stand on God's word, when you're still trusting him, when you're still in his will, Blessed assurance, everything will be all right. It's not what it looks like, 
in verse 13 of 2 Kings, the 6th chapter, the Syrian army was sent by the king of Syria to spy on Elijah and to capture him. You see, Elijah could stay in one place and know what was going on in the king's bed chambers. So every time he plotted to do something to Israel, amen, Elijah would tell the king of Israel what the king of Syria was planning to do. And the king of Syria called for his officials and he asked the question, who is it among us that's betraying us? And they said, none of us are betraying you, king. It's that old Elijah, the man of God down there, telling the king of Israel everything that you are planning to do. Don't you know that we serve an all-knowing God? He knows how many hairs are on your head. He knows when you lay down and when you sleep and when you get up. He knows just what you need and he will supply it right on time. Anybody know him as an on-time God? Oh, my brothers and sisters, it's not what it looks like. They arrived by night in verse 14 and surrounded the city. Verse 15, the servant of Elijah got up early in the morning. The old folks said, the early bird get the worm. Well, I thank God for some of us sleep, some of us being able to sleep after noon and God still feeds us. He got his eye on the sparrow. <laughs> And I know he watches over us. He got up early in the morning and looked out and saw that they were surrounded. And he said to Elijah, Master, how shall we do? He didn't ask what shall we do. He wanted to know how they were coming out of this thing. And we look at verse 16 and we find Elijah answered and said, Fear not, because he lives. Fear not, for they that be with us are more than they that be with them. It's not what it looked like. When you think that you're all by yourself, I hear God saying to the prophet, I got 700, amen, I got 7,000 that have not bowed or need a bell. God got somebody who's still standing on his word. God got somebody who's still in his will. God got somebody. Are you that somebody? Verse 17, Elijah prayed, my brothers and sisters, fear not, for we got more going for us than we got going against us. Elijah prayed, Lord, open his eyes that he may see. And the Lord opened his eyes, and he saw the mountain full of horses. And he saw the mountain full of chariots of fire, and they were round about Elijah. My brothers and sisters, is not what it looks like. We may look like we are losing, but you cannot lose when you belong to Jesus. In the name of Jesus, we got the victory. Elijah prayed, and eyes came open. Elijah did not ask God to kill the army. See, sometimes we need to ask God to just save our enemy so that they will no longer be our enemy, but they will become our brothers and sisters in Christ. Elijah prayed and asked God to blind the army. And when the army got to where he was, they were blinded by the Lord. You see, it's not what it looks like. You got a 
hold on to God's unchanging hand. Elijah told them to follow him, and he took them to Samaria and to the midst of the king of Israel. And the king said, should we kill them? And Elijah said, no, don't kill them, but roll out the red carpet. Now, that's using my Holy Ghost imagination. When you roll out the red carpet, that means that it's going to, to be a royal party. The king spared no pain in feeding them. He gave them the best that they had to give. He fed the army that came to destroy them. He killed them with kindness. Sometimes you know who your enemy is, but don't kill them with hate and malice and jealousy, but kill them with kindness. Kill them with the word of God. Is not what it looks like. Good Friday didn't look good for Jesus. The sun was not shining on Calvary. It became pitch black dark. The writer says so dark that you can feel darkness in your hands. Can I get a witness in so dark? They could not see anything. <laughs> but I come to tell you, <laughs> it's not what it looked like. <laughs> I'm so glad <laughs> that Friday is not Sunday. <laughs> aren't, aren't, aren't you glad? <laughs> Anybody glad in the house that Friday is not Sunday and Saturday is in between, but Saturday is still not Sunday. So glad! Anybody glad? Early! Resurrection Sunday. Early! Easter Sunday morning, Jesus got up like he said he would. It didn't look good on Friday, but thank God it's not what it looked like. Jesus got up declaring all power in heaven and earth being in his hands. I'm so glad this Sunday morning to be in the Lord's house one more time. Ain't God all right? Who shall abide in the Lord's house? He who have clean hands and a pure heart. I'm so glad that he washed my hands. I'm so glad that he's in my heart. Ain't God all right? Tell him thank you. Tell him thank you for Jesus. Tell him thank you for blessing you one more time. Coronavirus took a lot of folks out. I'm going to my seat, but is not what it looked like. Heaven took a lot of folks in and hell did too. But I come to tell you today if you know not the Lord and the free pardon of your sin you ought to get to know him because it's not what it looked like when you're dead you're not finished. We got to all appear before the judgment seat and Jesus is going to say come on up a little higher or go on down where you'll never come up again. So glad that he gives us another chance. Anybody glad? Say yeah. Anybody glad? Say yes. Hallelujah. God bless you. It's not what it looked like. I said not what it looked like. Dead hang on in there. It's not what it looked like. Footsteps 
breath uh, may get slow, uh, but although uh, I move so slow, uh, I'm a child of God. Uh, he can put running in your feet, uh, clapping in your hands, uh, joy uh, down in your heart. Uh, do what the Lord told you to do. Uh, don't nobody know what you uh, been told by the Lord. Uh, you don't know. Uh, I don't know uh, what the Lord uh, is telling us, uh, but God going to reveal uh, what he wants to have uh, to take place. Uh, it's not what it looked like. Uh, hang on in there. Uh, hang on in there. Uh, the race is not given uh, to the swift nor the strong, uh, but to the one that endureth to the end. Uh, they that wait. It's not what it looked like. I said not what it looked like. Hallelujah. 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 Thank you. God be the glory there. Hallelujah. The church is open. By the past Brother, the church is open. What a message. What a message. Not what it looked like. Praise Him. Just praise Him. 